I I was looking up some information on this movie mm-hmm. in between. It's a weird one. No. What? No. 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 There's one more thing I want to look at. Anyway, up. welcome to Rough Cut. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's like a pretty good intro. Maybe. <laughs> Here we go. The Ubisoft Motion Picture. I actually think that might be. That could be the intro. Yeah, that could be the intro. I kind of like that as an intro. (laughs) What have they made? Okay, does that mean that we're just in the podcast? Are we? Are we podcasting? No, I'm. I'm trying to look this up. Okay. Okay. We can look it up. Okay. 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 We're doing both. Okay. Welcome to Rough Cuts, everybody. Uh, we watched... <laughs> Wait, should we, should we... Hold up. So we need to audit. We need to audacity. We do need to audacity. We need to audacity. We need to audacity. All right. Let me uh, put my pen in my mouth. I'm ready to talk. <laughs> One second. I'm keeping all of this. I just want to let you know that none of this is getting cut. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Recording and audacity. Recording and audacity. None of that's cut. Okay, so go ahead. <laughs> Welcome to Rough Cuts, everyone. No cut. I don't uh, need to. Ed- I'm not editing <laughs> shit. I'm busy. <laughs> Dogs, they're coming. They're coming your way. They'll be here soon. Should have packed our snowshoes. What? People do that? You know, fun fact not only is it the oldest, but remains one of the most effective means of traversing the ice. Wow. Yeah, you're going to fit right in at Beaverfield. Everything here is a little <laughs> questionable. Ranger! The people. The weather. Everything. Oh. Ranger? You look like you just seen a corpse. Well, the roads are out. <laughs> and something's wrong with the generator. Which generator? All of them. Thank you on the internet. Uh, today we watched Werewolves Within, the Ubisoft movie pictures production about the Ubisoft PlayStation VR video game Werewolves Within, based on the hit game Werewolf, which is based off of Mafia. <laughs> you know, it's among us. I feel us. like I feel like this is the best PlayStation 4 VR game made into a movie written by the person that did Max Payne 2's story that I've right. ever seen. So I thought they did Max Payne 2's story, and I wanted to double-check that. Uh, the writer is Mishna Wolf. This is her only writing credit. You want to know what oh. she did on Max Payne 2? She made character models for Max Payne 2. She didn't even write for it. Yeah, yeah, she's a character model artist. Sorry, the That's reason amazing. why my voice is responding is because I have a look. <laughs> I, it's there's amazing. A... I uh, and the director, by the way, is Josh Rubin. You said when we were when we were starting this that this sounds like a college humor joke. That is the director and God, actor no. of forty six mm. episodes of no. college humor. No, I said this sounded like a college humor pitch for a movie. What the fuck? No, it literally no. is. Boy, it literally no. is. Yeah, no. no, that's not a joke. That's not a joke. How is um, this a movie? <laughs> I don't. Look, so, I found Werewolf was in because it came out in in June in very limited mm. release because of the pandemic. And then it, it got uh yes because of the online. pandemic yes it's the pandemic and also because... mostly the, the the pandemic, not everything else not everything else, <laughs> not everything else. um but then <laughs> then it got a digital release in July right so mm-hmm. I'm looking it up and I'm like well, how the fuck is this a movie and then it's a good question Ilion and I are, are sitting here and we're like oh, we could watch a movie but there's werewolves within but we should save that we should savor that let it sit <laughs> let treaty. it just save it as a treat for a rainy <laughs> day. And then we decided today would be that rainy day because, you know, we couldn't wait. I needed and... a little snack em. It, it, This and one was it's too tasty. It's too tasty. You tell me that this yeah. game is based on the 
awful looking, like miserably looking PlayStation VR Werewolf Within game. Yep. Written yep. written by a apparently character model designer. Character model artist. <laughs> Max yeah. Payne 2. Yeah. And, I'm gonna watch it. I have to watch that. Um, so Ubisoft Motion Pictures has done two movies. There's Werewolves Within, which we just watched, uh, mm-hmm. and Assassin's Creed in 2016. Those are the only two films they've made. You know what they're working on, though? Uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. Another Tom Clancy movie, The Division. Rabbids, the movie. A Beyond Good and Evil movie, which might actually be interesting. And, well, okay, and this one... beyond... Hold up, that's not yeah. actually coming out, though. <laughs> I don't think that's going to come out. Just like I don't beyond think that any evil. Beyond Good yeah. and Evil is ever coming no. out ever again. That's just the way it works. You know what else is on this list, though? And it's fucking sending me. It is sending me. Is it another PSVR <laughs> werewolf within? Worse. No, it's, but it it's... can't be. That's See, you don't understand. It can't be. It's the Ubisoft Just Dance movie. <laughs> yeah okay he fucking left they're, they're working on a just dance movie <laughs> i'm dying i'm literally dead I've had a uh, I'm, I'm the, the ubisoft just dance movie i can't fucking wait for that hold Holy up hold up shit. though there, just a second. There's there is an important thing to ask yeah. here about it. Yeah, is it the Star Wars just dance? Uh, it you know, is not gonna, the, the Star uh, Wars Connect game, unfortunately. Yeah, because I'm like, are we gonna that, get? Am yeah. I, I'm a Han Solo. Han Solo. The the upsetting thing about that is that Star Wars fans were so mad at Han Solo <laughs> and Lando having fucking moves that they they forced. <laughs> George Lucas to tell them that it was not canon. They were so mad that they forced them to strike it from canon. Did anybody think that it was? Officially, every piece of Star Wars media until that moment was canon in the story. They were so upset at that that they made George Lucas say, okay, but not this one. (laughs) That's so funny to me. Ubisoft, and Ubisoft Studios. fucking Ubisoft movies. Ubisoft so like, there's no movies. way this movie can be good. It's a fucking werewolf movie about a VR game. But here we are. I but it is the best version of the PS4 VR werewolf Amogus yeah movie that I've seen. Uh, and that sounds like a shit but it, it is actually no, legit. it is, it is it's legitimately like, an okay movie. But before we get into it, this movie is kind of like Fargo mixed with Knives Out, I feel. It's a a lot of things. It's It's a lot, yeah. It's very tropey. It is extremely tropey. Like, one of the things about it, it it feels, honestly, like you're saying, like, the Knives Out thing. In so many ways, it also feels like Clue. Like, it's trying to pull from a bunch. Yeah, it's Clue, for sure. It's trying to pull from a bunch of things. Like, it's, it is a, now, don't get me wrong. It's not Clue. Clue is a great movie. This Correct. movie's okay. <laughs> but it has, it has good setup, good payoff, yes. a lot of yeah. dry humor. Yep. And and a lot of, like... It, it exceeds my expectations. It exceeds what your I was expectations in a lot of ways. Yes. Yeah. There are... Except for yeah. a very few specific circumstances in which it digs yeah. underneath our expectations with an excavator. <laughs> If it removed two characters from the film, I think it would actually be an extreme recommendation, which is something I would not say about an Ubisoft movie. No. Yeah. So that's so wild to me. But if you, yeah, if you removed two characters around who all of the bad shit is around, then you would immediately have, like, a really good movie in a lot of ways. Yeah. There's some stuff, um, like, there's, there is a 10, 15 minute stretch where I timestamped like seven different things because it was just what? there's so many good moments. There were actual what? legit funny moments. This movie, movie has, has legit jokes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's why it's so weird that the writing is so uneven because sometimes it's clever, 
and like the actual so the the overall story i feel is yeah like not clever but competent it's just very tropey but like it's fine it, and it's then the, campy it's yes. campy yeah yeah that's what and i it, like about it yeah and it's it's playing into that like i don't think that it's trying to necessarily have twists that you're not mm -hmm. supposed to get and stuff like it it's there because it is almost a parody of itself, right? Like, it's kind of making yeah. fun of a lot of the tropes. So, like, that's fine. And some of the dialogue can be pretty witty. Like, the dialogue in some of the mm -hmm. specific situations can be pretty good. Like, some of the jump scares were really funny. Like, they were really, really well done. Yeah. Um, there's a jump scare that happens where, like, the one guy jumps, gets jump scared. And he turns around and, like, the person behind him gets jump scared by him. Like, it, like, cascades and it's really yeah, the, the, good. Like, it's a good joke. Yeah, like... The person doing the jump scare gets jump scared. That's hilarious. Yes. Yeah, That's like so there's good. some good moments. Or, or like there's like a body and then like somebody's head just pops up from underneath and it's like, hey, I'm here too. <laughs> like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The, Like there's some really good, there's some good slapstick yeah. and there's some good moments like that. And there's yeah. a lot of like decent character moments. But then like the broad strokes are just kind of there. Like they're okay. Um, right. And then there's a couple of characters that are just like, they, it, hey, they brought up tropey characters. I'm just going to, I just want to get it out of the way real fast so we don't have yeah. to address it again, if that's okay. Um, so we're going to put a big disclaimer across all of the things that we're going to say are good about this movie, because there are two tech bro gay characters that are the most stereotypical hey han slay queen it's like 90s wearing scarf yeah. like this is the worst gay couple that i've seen in 30 years <laughs> like yeah it's um it makes like at the some of the stereotyping on like a will and grace or something look incredibly uh modern <laughs> like it's pretty bad and then they have, they even bring up a, the worse, even worse than that, they have the one character be from Argentina, yeah. which of course is a horrible backwards country where they sacrifice their seventh child to werewolves because, you know, Argentinians it's, it's are all far away and people, uh, yeah, no, no like, Americans, no anybody from Argentina. What the yeah. was that joke? It, but it then was, like it was a legit <sighs> plot point for a moment. It was. That's what's weird. That's the right? part that's like, really odd. Like, it, it was bad enough as, like, a throwaway one-liner, but then they bring it back when he, like, grabs somebody and is like, yeah. but she's the seventh daughter. She must be the werewolf. And, like, because he's an Argentinian, too, so he believes in the werewolf. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, it, it is what it is. Um, the This is the writer's only writing credit. So yeah. I would hope that they would learn... And I would actually like to see more from this writer and just remove those things, right? You'd like to Because the think... rest of it I like. That's what's yeah. rough about it. So yes. it's like, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yes. And that's why I wanted to get it out of the way yeah. early because I'm like, hey, we're going to be effusive yeah. about a lot of things in this movie because it's actually pretty fucking good. But um, yeah. boy, the couple of low moments that I brought about by those characters are real fucking low. And if you can't yeah. handle that, don't watch this thing. Yeah. That that was basically why I wanted to get it out of the way. Anyways, heaven to fuck. Let's get into this movie. <laughs> right? Right? This, I this movie's weirdly gory and says a it drops a lot of F bombs. It like, drops a lot, a lot of lot of F bombs. Yeah, it's great. I love it. Yes, heaven to Betsy. Yeah. Heaven to Betsy. I love it. Yeah, her. the main character is so we're introduced to our main character who is this super 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 nice guy who's a park ranger yeah. and he's lost his current cushy position and he's now being sent to bumfuck nowhere um we'll get into that Be later that's kind of in a beaverfield point. oregon yeah beaverfield oregon yes and so he's traveling down the road listening to like fucking jordan peterson self-help <laughs> books all you gotta is do awful. is just 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 yell just be Unleash real loud and assertive. Here, Unleash let's the practice. Primal man within. Let's yeah. practice. Say balls. Ball. Balls. 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 Now yell. Now yell it out your window. Balls. Yeah, I was like, holy shit. 
Just in the middle and, of the and, car, and, and, driving down the freeway like this. Yeah, and then weird. as he's driving into town, there's a fucking propane dick on the side of the road, just blasted fire up into the sky. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, that, I mean, and it is like they they love their propane yeah. dick. They they oh, were they do, somebody yeah. on set made that, and they were so fucking mm-hmm. proud mm-hmm. that they made a propane dick. And they, they should like, be proud. Show show that propane. Yeah. Any scene that's not showing the propane dick, we've got to be referencing it, talking yeah. about it, like just anything about propane dick. Please, like, bring that bad boy in there anytime you can. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a pretty big dick. It's pretty good. Uh, we also forgot to mention that the movie opens on a quote from Mister Rogers. Yeah, this is one of those things where I feel yeah. like the movie is it's it's often more clever than you give it credit for, but the times that it thinks that it's clever it's not because <laughs> the main theme sense. of the film is about being a good neighbor state yes. farm is there so wow in our it... neighborhood jake from state farm yeah and then jake from state farm i hope that he hooks the... us up with the drip <laughs> and the nba 21 mb <laughs> whatever it is 22 2021 22 uh... yeah it fucking shows up but like the whole the whole point is that it's about neighbors trusting each other and yes. and the plot like a werewolf game is about people's trust and and connections breaking breaking down. down. Yeah. So that idea is clever and they try to they try to fit that in cuz like yes. it's about a werewolf game let's make it fucking werewolf, right? Yeah, it just um, Sometimes it feels a little too ham-fisted but, with the specific Mr. But Rogers thing. The know. Mr. Rogers thing was ham-fisted, because like, it's yeah. my neighbor, get it? And this guy's yeah. nice, like Mr. Rogers, who's a neighbor man, get it? Mm-hmm. They were they, totally they trying a... to do, I do like the idea yeah. that the main character is supposed to be Mr. Rogers in a werewolf game, <laughs> which is actually they, kind of, that's a That's good pitch. legitimately that's a good pitch. funny. That's, that's legitimately pitch, funny. Yes. But they do a good joke on they it later where they're, they're talking hard. talking to a character who's like, hey, just be a yes. good neighbor, you know, like Mr. Rogers. Who? Who? <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was when you knew that that character was a fucking psychopath. <laughs> People deserve to feel safe. I guess what we're asking is that you, you be a good neighbor. You know? I guess that's the theme like of Mr. this movie. Rogers. Hey, Mr. Rogers. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Rogers. Huh. Yeah. Who's that? Hmm? <laughs> Who the fuck is Mr. Rogers? <laughs> what the fuck? You don't know Mr. Rogers? <laughs> yeah, there's a there is a good I moment that. for that. Yeah, there's... I love that. That is actually a note that I had down 50 minutes in Mr. Rogers, because it's really good. I, I, thought, I thought that's where they were going with the Mr. Rogers joke, but then they brought it back at the end, so I'm like, eh, you could have just left it. You could have yes. just left it. Yeah, yeah. Like we said, got the got joke, and it was fine. They just got a little ham-fisted on it. They just, they just, yeah. they beat it into the ground a bit too much on the Mr. Rogers one. Yeah. Like I said, it's weird that this movie is often very clever, but anytime mm. that it feels like it knows that it's clever... It's not. It's not as clever right. as it thinks, anyways. So as we're driving by the propane dick, <laughs> which see, I mean, that was good. For, mwah, propane dick, I'm down for. Which I need to point out is not a joke we're making. No, <laughs> no. We have somebody <laughs> talking about like oh, I have yeah. no, no idea when you're just like making shit up about a movie. I'm like, no, there's there's a propane dick. This is no, that's a propane they, dick. They, it's a major a plot point. Dick. Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, the reason there's a propane dick is because there's a pipeline coming into their town, and half of the town is selling, and the other half isn't. So that's the main right. town tension mm-hmm. between the characters. But we're we're introduced to a, a bunch of different characters as our uh, trooper. Oh, he's not a trooper. Yep. He's a park ranger. He's a park ranger. Park ranger. He's not a trooper. Uh, shows up at the the local hotel. And uh, is introduced to the male person, yes, uh, Cecily. who is our who is our other main character, um, who I mean, I then what kind of main character is like the whole town There's is a, yeah the whole town kind of is yeah like you said it's a it's a bit like the it's an ensemble cast kind of movie like a Clue yeah. or Knives Out like that kind of thing where it's it's a bit but of a whodunit. They they introduce us to the uh, clerk. The person who runs the 
the hotel. Yes. Uh, the the mail Jim. lady. Uh, the they the go mail, to Emerson. The mail lady Sicily. The sorry. Yeah, they, go to, they go to Emerson's house, who's the fur yeah. trapper. Yes, Emerson uh, the fur trapper. He's a fucking psycho who doesn't know Mister Rogers. <laughs> I love that guy. It's, uh, uh, it's such a good joke. There's the two uh, hooligan like uh, mechanics. Yes. The, well, the the one dude's just like the a super a stoner, and then yeah. the wife is the mechanic. Yeah, it's Tracy yeah, and, I and love, Marcus, I think. I love both those characters. They're, they were very good. They were very, very, funny. very, very good. Very funny. Like, and that's the, what um, I mean. There's some characters yeah. that you fucking love, and they're so good. And then... Uh, the the stereotypical Republican couple that has yeah. their signs out in front of their house that say they're for the pipeline. Uh, one yeah. of which is Crafts Lady, who has a dog named chachi yes uh and the other one is a creepy like feely touchy guy he's he is very obviously like Ugh. men going their own way incel dude even though he's married yeah. like he's just creepily hitting on every woman in town by like touching them and feeling them up and like trying to give them Ugh. hugs and Ugh. but like they they do okay. that appropriately in a way because like they, they very much show that he is a fucking creep and gross for that which is again weird that like mm -hmm. it, eh, sorry i don't I, I know i shouldn't bring it up but it's you can just, yeah 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 Let's they do such on. a good job with some of these things and then other things they don't but this one's uh, very, there's this one's good there's the gun nut uh pipeline owner yeah he's we don't know he's a gun nut at first he's an Until alcoholic later. more than anything he yeah. is just constantly pouring out booze. He's always got a flask on him, and it's kind of like this ongoing joke, quote unquote, um, that he's just offering booze to everybody all the time. He just gives booze to everybody, and they all decline until they don't. Uh, and and like, then yeah, like there's... nine o'clock in the morning, he's just pouring out booze, and then, yeah. oh, you want some? It's like, no, no it's not. Uh, there's Dr. Forensics Investigator. Who is my absolute number one favorite character, and when she exits the movie, the movie gets significantly worse. Yes, yes. Uh, and <laughs> She's then, so good. Is anybody I'm missing? Let me see. I think that's everyone. No. I think yeah, that's I think... everyone. Yeah, I think that's all. Oh, and and the gay couple. Yeah, and the gay couple. The Which we were saying. Which we kind of just... Go past they, go honestly, past. there's not much that they do anyways. Um, yeah. Basically, their whole character arc is to be the foil of the Republican couple, in a way, and, like, some of the other people that want to sell. Yeah. So they have a lot of... The, the plot is, like, there's the tension between the two sides. They're rich and have a lot of... Like, they've got a lot of money. They even make a joke at one mm -hmm. point where everybody's like, well, we're not all millionaires like you guys. And he's like, we're not millionaires. And one guy looks at the other. Yeah, yeah, we, we kind of are actually. Yeah, like, we have wait, a lot of money. Have that much money? Oh shit! Rich huh? rich yeah. yeah, but like, and it's like we, you know, some of us might need to sell to to the oil company just to make ends meet, and you know, you're kind of coming from this place of privilege, which is like that was a legit tension thing. That was a good right. Thing. Yeah, but I, like, I yeah, think so. Like that kind of thing, they make sense for. There's it. some interesting stuff. There's some interesting yep. stuff. Yeah, yeah, but that's their the, main purpose in the film. The rest mm -hmm. of the stuff about them is superfluous that's like one yeah. of the worst things about it is that all of the jokes about them being gay and stuff like that i mean there's not even really that many jokes it's i don't even think it's a screen, joke it's just their their <laughs> stereotypes that's all it is yeah, there's not really it, it, it doesn't play it for laughs it's just no. it's just not written really. that way it's weird yeah yeah but like that for them like all of that is super mm -hmm. superfluous like none of that has any real bearing on the movie so it's weird no. that it's even there but okay, so uh, our after being led around town and introduced to every character by our male lady, male person, mm -hmm. uh, then they go back to the bar, the axe den. I'm remembering a yes. lot of details about this movie because I like it because this movie is actually decent. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, where where are uh, two? I'd say mostly main. Like the whole cast is main, but these are the two. Yes. Yeah. Those are the kind of the two. Uh, main. Yeah, yeah. The. Uh, the park ranger and the the male person are like hitting it off, and they're throwing mm -hmm. axes because it's near Portland, and that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I mean, yes, <laughs> yes. yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and yeah. and then as they're about to kiss with the heteronormative stereotypical movie thing to Ace of Base and Savage Garden. 
Yes. Yeah. This, uh, okay, the soundtrack for this movie is wild because it is yeah. as dated as their two gay their gay couple. Yeah. <laughs> because, holy yeah. shit. Uh, but he gets a call from his ex wife or his ex girlfriend. I, girl, I don't yeah, even think girl. they were married. No, it was just girlfriend. Uh, yeah, and then she's just pissed at him, so she leaves. Well, yeah, because they're in like right? they're leaning Fucking in guy. for a kiss, and then he yeah. gets a call from his ex girlfriend because. It, the the conversation starts even where he's like mm -hmm. well no like i haven't broken up like we never broke up and she's like well but you're not living together well no no like i have to come out to this new space for like like he doesn't even realize that he broke up yeah That's and then she's thing. like well okay so you're not you're not living together are you are you not talking and he's like not no we're, ta we're texting and it's like okay um and she said that she wanted to have the relationship be open now so you can pursue other people. I'm like, oh, yeah. fuck, I broke up. It's like, no shit, dummy. <laughs> like, I'm not, not going to see her right. for a year. She kicked right. me out of the house. I, I think you being gone for a year is actually a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Weird. weird. Yeah, and then she goes in for a kiss and he goes to kiss her back and he gets the call and answers it like a fucking psycho. <laughs> Who does that? Nobody does right, that. Right. And so she she appropriately treats him like the weirdo that he is because like, yeah. why would you ever answer the call from your like angry ex girlfriend? Well, there's somebody in front of you because he's too nice to push he's back. Too on nice to. Yes. that's the thing. Yeah, right. It, it's a good so, character moment because it really sets yeah. up that he's not just too nice. He's a pushover. Right. He's a like, pushover. It's not yeah. just, because there's a certain amount of niceness, and then there's also he's just not willing to stand up to people. And that's his character arc, mm -hmm. and they do a good job of talking about that throughout the movie. So then uh, we cut to a scene where Crafts Lady is smoking in the inside, I think, and she lets Chachi out through the dog door. Yes, yeah, she's smoking. Where it gets attacked night. by a wild animal. I and really Chachi's, like, can we talk Chachi's about Chachi? gone, and Chachi's a little cute pupper who just wants pets. I don't, it's not like a Pomeranian. What would you, like, maybe Pomeranian cross with something? Maybe. maybe. It's like, it's like a little fuzzy, I it's don't know, it's cute. dog. I can just call it's it cute. Foofy. It's Foofy. It's a, it's, it's a, a very... toy dog is what it is, but. Yes. Yeah. It's got a um, big brown face and, like, the huge ears, mm -hmm. like, um. Like the the Chinese hairless kind of do, or like a Pomeranian. Yeah. But like it's very floofy and it's a brown and white dog and it's super cute. They have a painting of it in her house. They have a later painting. On. It's they such a, a cute painting. painting. It's a really, really good painting. Chachi gets two pets. I just wanna I yeah. I counted them. Chachi got some pets. And then Chachi like, got fucking eaten. Uh, there's good character moments too, because like she has a painting of her dog, so you know she loves that dog, right? Like Yes. There's little things like this sprinkled in where you're like, they didn't have to, but they did because it the adds characters, flavor. Yeah, the characters yeah. being tropey is something that actually works to the advantage of the movie most of the yeah. time. Like, it, it, was an, it was a purposeful thing, I would say, for the most part, mm -hmm. because they're trying to play up some stereotypes really hard, right? Like, to get something in your head. It's to get yes. it in your head that certain people are doing certain things so that they can then turn it on its side later. And they're very yeah. archetypical, right? Yeah. Like they're very they're, they're these very archetype kind this... of characters. Like I said, it's it's very much like Clue in that. Way. Yeah, and Clue. Like... This reminded me a little bit of like a Laura Bow game too, or a Nancy Drew or something like yes. that. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. But they're all but... like they all have like very specific character mm -hmm. quirks and things about them. Like the mechanic lady, when you first see her, like her husband comes in and she's oh, like, man. are you high? And he's like, no, I haven't even been drinking. Drinking and driving's for losers. And it's like, that's not what high means. That's <laughs> like, not what she asked. And then she like, she's like, ah, you loser. And then she like grabs her wrench and sticks it out like a dick from her pants. And she's like doing air guitar on it. And it's like, okay, you know who she is. <laughs> yeah, she's, yeah, she's going exactly like flipping off is. the camera yeah. and she's wearing like hockey jerseys she's i've known these people i've she, known people like her she, she would go to a hockey game and get in a fist fight oh god in the yes. stands if she wasn't in the stands. if she wasn't streaking yeah if she wasn't yeah, 100 <laughs> like within five seconds you know this character i love oh her. yeah 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 and then, like she's just but then the important beers. thing is it's it's consistent yes that's yeah. the important thing mm -hmm. yeah um but yeah okay so chachi gets eaten uh by something 
Yes. An animal. Uh, and then at that point, uh, an avalanche happens a little bit after, mm-hmm. uh, and all the generators in town go out. So all the power's out. Yes. And they're right. locked into the town because they can't go out on the mountain pass because now it's been snowed yep. in. The transformer goes down, and then somebody shreds all the generators because they get up in the morning, and he, mm-hmm. our park ranger guy goes and is like, well, I mean, sure, the terraformer is out, but, like, everybody has, like, generators and stuff. Like, what, Yeah, so he goes to investigate out? the generators, yeah. And they're and all slashed. Heavens to Betsy. Heavens they're all slash. Yeah, I can't believe they're all <laughs> slash. Yeah, they make him such a good Mister Rogers that he's like heaven to bed. I love it. All the time, he's, he, he he's got the little stains like yeah. from like the fifties. Yeah, it, which makes it when he does swear later more impactful. Yes, yeah, it's a I good joke. That. Like it's a really, it's a that. really good setup. It's a good setup um, that he is so yeah. much like an I love Lucy character rather than an actual mm-hmm. person. So as he's investigating the generators, he finds uh, a piece of clothing, and mm-hmm. he pulls it out, and it's a dead body. It's the body yes. of the hotel owner's husband. Yeah, we did see that right. at the very, very beginning of the movie. He was out yep. in the woods, and he was and, pulling off his ring like it was showing that they had yeah, a Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And this whole time, mm-hmm. uh, this whole time, including with Chachi... Are doctor forensic investigators just collecting little hairs while characters are God, talking to other so characters? Good. It's so good. Every time, like everybody gets yeah. around this dead body, and they're all looking at, it and they're like, "Oh my God, it's Dave!" And they like pull back the cover, yeah. <gasps> and then suddenly, from like the bottom of the screen, like they're all standing over this body, and there's the body in front of them up close, and then you see this head kind of like slowly rise up over the body, and like little tweezers come out. And she just like puts take a hair the and then leaves. and then like the head sinks back down and she's just gone and it's like what the fuck it's so good it's such well, a good well, joke none of the characters acknowledge it acknowledge her or anything yeah no it's she's so just good. doing science stuff when the lady comes in and she's like yeah. stunned and she's like something ain't chachi she's covered in like a little bit of blood and stuff like she kind of like comes from behind her and starts like tweezing things off of her <laughs> as she's talking to people and then she just disappears again and you're like uh yeah. or, or she'll like science. appear out of the shadows in the back of a hallway and like grab a thing and then leave and like what yeah. the fuck <laughs> and also i love the fact they yeah. did a very good job like the cinematography yeah. in this movie is actually quite good and they they have everything lit pretty nice and like it's a nice sunny mm-hmm. day and and it's kind of comedy lighting like because this is obviously pretty tongue-in-cheek for the most part. yeah yeah and whenever it goes to doctor lady doing science we suddenly get like these really dark blues and it's like it's like an episode of ncis <laughs> like it yeah. suddenly gets like this there's really like dark screens and tone. things happening and, yeah there's yeah. like all these green screens in front of her and she's like always doing science and it's dark and grim and and she talks like this like it's so it good could be anything and it's just like a totally different movie yeah. totally different movie and it's a fucking I love it. fantastic joke. i love it really yeah. good uh, so now that there's been a murder Everybody groups together in the hotel. Yeah. Uh, they talk about the generators being out and somebody sabotaging them, uh-huh. uh, which they think is a giant wolf because of the claw marks. Yeah. And they're like, well, that doesn't right. make sense. Can it be an animal? So they're, they're kind of questioning yeah. it even now. Yep. So so what they do is they the park ranger gets mm-hmm. everybody together and he's like, hey. There's that trapper guy who was a real dick earlier who's definitely a psychopath. Why don't we just go ask him to go, like, kill the wolf? Yeah, like, he seems like he can probably That's kill a job, wolf. right? Like, nope. yeah. So I they mean, go. he's covered in furs. His whole yeah. place is, like, taxidermied everywhere. It's, yeah. <laughs> this character was very obviously, as I called right from the beginning, he's the Home Alone shovel man. He is, yeah. He's, he's the red herring, he, for sure. Yeah. Like, and then the the And the Deus Ex Machina, like he's gonna come yeah. back and save everybody. He's the man with the heart of gold who's gonna save the day, clearly. Yeah. So they go to to his house, uh, and our mail lady finds Chachi's collar, collar on, on his mantle. mantle. And, da, da, da. and Oh my god, he killed Chachi. Yeah. So they, they panic and try to leave, but the door's locked. And then he's got a knife, but he's coming closer. 
And they're like, oh god, don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't do it! <gasps> hey, unlock, unlock the door. <laughs> There's like one little deadbolt up at the top, and he's just like, yeah, you just, just you just do you just move the like, deadbolt. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. Right. Have a good day. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's really the killer. That guy's the killer. <laughs> <laughs> sus. <laughs> that guy's real sus. <laughs> um. By the way, I didn't mention um, the park ranger is played by Sam Richardson. Yes. Who is mostly a a B roll actor. In a bunch of like side roles mm-hmm. and things, uh, the same with Milana Baintrub, who's that's the, the other main character actress yeah, the, for the uh, postal, the mail lady, worker, yeah, the postal worker. Um, both of them were in a film together oh. within the last five years, and they were huh. both background characters. And that movie was Ghostbusters twenty sixteen. Weird. Yeah. Huh. Anyways, yeah, Sam, uh, Sam Richards is apparently, like, somebody big on Veep, but I don't know Veep, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. He's, he's on um, a few things like that, so he's, he's They're both fantastic. They're I really good. I would love good. to see more. I would love to see more. I would say um, every actor in this, like, fucking yeah. nails it. Yep, yep. So, uh, what they do is they go back to the hotel... And then everybody's like, well, duh, it's Everson. He has yeah, it's Chucky's gotta be him. He's a fucking psychopath. Out. We asked him yeah. about, you know, be a good neighbor like Mr. Rogers, and he went, who? Who's, and who yeah. does that? What kind who of a does psycho that? does that? Who so, doesn't know about Mr. Rogers? So their plan is to board up the hotel and stay there for the night. If you were a kid Would, and you didn't have Mr. Rogers yeah, teaching you yeah. morals, you don't have a moral compass. What even is, like, you have no morals, right? You're just obviously going to grow up without anything. That's how, yeah, that's how it works. Like, I grew mm-hmm. up on, on you know, something awful. Like, like uh, if you don't believe uh, a higher power like Mr. Oof. Rogers, how are you supposed to oof. have any direction in life? Yeah, wow, wow. Can you imagine <laughs> if I grew up on, like, Zoom? The kids' TV oh. show from oh, PBS no. or oh. Paw Patrol. Well, they're just class traitors, so <laughs> obviously, <laughs> fucking Paw Patrol. Fuck you, Paw Patrol. That's the official stance of fucking Rough Cuts. <laughs> that's that's Rough Cuts. We will never watch Paw Patrol. We don't want any bad dogs in this. this yeah, there are bad this. dogs. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so so they're all sitting around uh, in the hotel, and they're like, "Okay, we're gonna, you know." Be safe for the night. We're going to stay in the hotel. Does anybody have anything to protect themselves? Does somebody have a gun? <laughs> and this is a really good joke because everybody fucking pulls out a piece. Oh, yeah. yeah I got a gun. Got uh, a piece. Well, I love that the crafts lady with Chachi, she's been sitting there and she's, yeah. she's like, oh, I don't have a gun. Oh, well, except for this little one. <laughs> yeah, except for this little one, she starts pointing at everyone. Like That's the other thing that's really fucking... funny about this, is that, like, all of the people with guns, like Marcus, who's this weird stoner guy, is, yeah. like, just waving it in people's faces, and they're all like, can you just, just turn that a little yeah. bit? Okay, yeah. <laughs> like, maybe not the right at my yeah. face for yeah. the barrel of the gun, please. Uh, and I think before that, as they were talking about Emerson... Mm-hmm. The mechanic lady was walking around in the hotel, and she walks up to one of these famous 1500s paintings. Yes! About, yes. like, a, a human killing other humans. And for some reason, they photoshopped a wolf well, head on No, this is actually, that's actually later. That's later. Uh, I'll tell you. I, okay. I, yes, I have, I have it in my notes exactly when that happens, because there's a better okay. setup for it. Um, so what happens is, mm-hmm. I, I mean, it, it kind of happens kind of right after that, because what it is is that... Uh, scientist lady is reviewing the hairs that she's found and she's trying to match them and she's saying they don't this doesn't make any sense they don't match any known dog and they don't match any known mammal like maybe and they're it's kind of humanoid though so it's oh yeah it can't be it can't be and so while she's having the realization that there's the werewolf there's as you said this poster that's like this sketch artist of it, werewolf it's a famous 1500s apart. painting but they photoshopped Supposedly, a wolf head on yeah. one of them is what they did yeah yeah but like she's slowly walking up to it it's creeping and it's creepy and it's tension. back and forth cutting between yeah. that and oh my yeah. god could it be could it actually be werewolves 
And as she's doing that, the lady looks Ooh. in horror really, really close to the poster and says, The hairs from both Dave's body and Chachi's little outfit are a match. Everything about this predator is unorthodox. It's not human. It's canine, but there are no matches in the database. I'm going to keep running tests. I, I love but forensics, for now, doctor, I investigator. Is, I don't know what this thing is. It's a totally different movie. Yeah, it's so good. And like, that's on purpose for sure. It's really good. Body. Yeah. It appears it feeds like a dog or a wolf, meaning... Meaning that I want to know. Meaning Dave is probably eaten alive. It's fucking rad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's fucking rad. <laughs> it's like, yeah, like she's so that character. She is just like the perfect love it. small town stoner cool lady that just fucks around and I love her. Mm -hmm. She's so mm -hmm. good. Yes, oh, it's, she's really it's fantastic. Good. Mm -hmm. So everybody goes to bed for the night. Uh, and before we go further, I want to put a uh, a warning here on spoilers for the end of the film. Because we're going to be talking about everything that happens to each character at this point. Yeah. So if you wanted yeah. to watch this it's movie, a whodunit. Yeah. I will give the spoiler because it's a whodunit. I'll give you the warning. Um, skip ahead towards the end here. Uh, but... Just as a uh, I, as a heads up. Also, I just want to yeah. i I do want to say uh, I fucking called it. Like I you did. Called it, like you called it. Fifteen yeah. minutes in, like yeah, I called, called it, it immediately. So it's yep. not that big of a spoiler. It's not that hard to guess. <laughs> right, but right I want to. If somebody wants yeah, to watch no, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give I them agree. the chance. I'll give them the yes. chance because this is a movie that is. If you can overlook the couple of things that are real bad about it, the rest of it mm -hmm. is quite good. The rest of it is a lot of fun. Somehow. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. Against, against this... all odds. <laughs> I'm Ilion, and this is my favorite PS4 VR game <laughs> made into a movie, movie that I've yeah, ever somehow. watched. Somehow. <laughs> Written so... by the character artist for fucking Max Payne 2. It's so weird. But so the, uh, the creeper husband wakes yeah. up in the middle of the night because he hears the noise. And then... Something grabs his hand and drags him into the hallway. And he's yes. fighting this thing back and forth, dragging like in and out of frame. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the mauled. mechanic lady comes out with her fucking revolver. Blam, 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 blam! <laughs> no aiming, laughing. like cocked sideways, just blam oh, everywhere yeah. until she runs out of bullets. Mm hmm. Yeah, and I I liked this because they did kind of a realistic thing with it in that, like, so she maybe hits the werewolf, maybe doesn't, we don't really know, or whatever is mauling him. Maybe it's a werewolf, mm -hmm. maybe it's not. And uh, he's got his hand... They actually have quite a bit of gore in this on top right? of the swearing. Like, yeah. it, they show his, like, ripped up hand, like, there's nothing really left of it. And he's screaming and stuff, and then they look at him and they go... Oh, and he's shot, too. <laughs> oh, and you shot him. And you shot him. You fucking shot him. Because, like, of course she is. She's shooting at somebody on top of him. It makes perfect sense. And, like, that's never done in these movies. So it's kind of no. it's kind of nice that they do that. Like, that it's like, oh, yeah, no, when you blindly fire down the hallway at him, um, you hit him. That, mm -hmm. That's a thing that happened. That's more gore this than I This is more expecting. gore than I expected. Yeah, what? Can someone please look for my hand! Hell yeah, I got you, bro! <laughs> <laughs> His hand has been bitten off! Holy shit! For God's sake, this is an animal attack! Uh, no, I think he was shot, too. Oh. So, then they go to, to talk to Dr. Uh, forensic Investigator. I think her name's yes. Ellis. Dr. Ellis. I I think. Something but like she, that? Yeah, yeah, Dr. Ellis, she, you're right. Yeah. She has locked her door. Yes. Uh, and as they try to, like, knock on the door to get a, get her attention, she just comes blasting through the door, shooting bullets at them. Yes. Saying, you get the fuck away from me. One of you's the werewolf. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, she at first she is in this scene and she starts plucking fibers off the guy. Yeah. And the um dr- the drunk pipeline dude that's trying to buy up. Oh, well, because he hands her the drink. He yeah. hands her the flask, because he hands everybody a in every scene that we've mentioned, if he's there, he's handing a flask to somebody and they're going, Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> no, no, Stop it's it. still no. And then this time she kind of like slowly takes it and then just walks off a frame <laughs> and then she's in her room and she's like yeah no it's a fucking werewolf and then she locks the door. yeah but like she drank the whole flask and then yes. after she shot the bullets through the door we go to the other side of the door and she's also drinking a bottle drinking of wine, wine that she somehow has <laughs> she also from has. the bottle in full and i'm like oh shit so the gun nut pipeline guy goes into a back door to the room that she's locked in Mm -hmm. uh and there's gunshots from the other side of the door and then as the other characters open the door to see what happened uh he walks up to the door he's like she shot herself she's just dead like she couldn't handle the which is absolutely what happened so then you're like wait a fucking minute (laughs) definitely definitely what happened you know people are often suicidal when they lock themselves in their rooms and say don't come near me i want to live through this that's yeah. generally the moment in which they kill themselves and it definitely has nothing yeah. to do with the fact that he's the pipeline guy and she's the uh environmentalist doctor who's protesting yeah. it and trying to find like a uh, environmental reason that he's not allowed to make his big like, pipeline that this he is wants. This is a really good yeah, writing no, decision, no, no. right? Because now, mm-hmm. now we're as the audience are thinking, wait a fucking minute. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. What it does fuck? a good job of introducing, like, the... Yeah. There's a werewolf, maybe, possibly, but also these people are definitely going to be killing each other also. Yeah, yeah like, and it's a good setup yeah. for that. Yeah. So, at that point, everybody meets in the, like, lounge area of the hotel. And we get we get the after evening scene of a werewolf game where everybody's in a chair in a circle in PlayStation VR. In PlayStation VR. And you know that it's PlayStation VR because yeah. our main character reaches out to touch somebody awkwardly, but he can't quite reach them. Can't and so quite he's reach. like kind of fumbling yeah. a little bit and like has a big moment. I'm wondering if they did that on purpose. Like I actually wonder if the writer yeah. did that because they know what VR is like. And they're like, oh, we should have somebody just be like, this is the obvious VR setup moment. So what if we had somebody like awkwardly not have physicality in the right way? Because yeah. <laughs> it's kind of so, done that way and it's good. So they all go one-on-one saying what they did for the night and slinging mm-hmm. accusations and like it's backing each other this up. And, like it's, yep. it's the werewolf moment. I love that. Like, they yeah, actually they, did the thing. They fucking pull this movie out, and it's really, it really bothers How? me that this movie How? is pulled out as much as it is. So, so then, uh, the park ranger grabs a nice, fine china mug and throws it on the wall. Yes. To get their attention. Because they're they all yelling, yelling and screaming. They, they pull out guns, yeah. and they're having a big, uh, mm-hmm. standoff and everything. Yeah. And, yeah, then he throws this mug against the wall, and the innkeeper goes... That was fine china. That was real expensive. What the fuck, man? I I got that that from like the state fair ten years ago. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. (laughs) I'm just trying to get their attention. Um, So then they come up with the genius plan of nobody should have guns. So let's take everybody's pieces and throw them out a window, and then throw the key out a different window. Or Bas- no, they, they, yeah, they, they lock them the, in a room the and then throw the key. Yeah, they throw the key away. Yes. So then, but, then they're like, "Okay, now everybody stay in the hotel. We'll wait until power comes back on, and then we'll leave." To which yeah. every character says, "Fuck no, <laughs> that's dumb as hell, and we're leaving." I am not staying in this hotel anymore. Somebody already died in here, and one of us might be the murderer. So they all leave. So they all leave. <laughs> yeah, yep. they're like what? Okay. They'll have it's their own we're reasons going, to get out. Yeah, we're going to the next night where everybody needs to set up their actions. And yeah, yes, it makes sense. Which I, and it honestly, again, all of the character motivations, because I, when you have an ensemble cast like this, I think that it mm-hmm. is a pretty good idea to have them be pretty tropey. Like, I'm criticizing it a bit for that. If they were really, really yeah. clever about it, then it would be better than it is. But it's a good idea to lean a bit on them being very tropey because you know immediately 
why everybody is leaving and they have very clear reasons for doing it and you catch Correct. on to who the characters are instantly right like you we know the names of all the characters how often yeah. do we know the names of all of the characters and it's because they're all memorable and it works for the comedy side so it's it's very mm-hmm. smartly done in that way like could it be better sure everything can always be better but it's very serviceable to good and it's it's nice so yeah you mm-hmm. have like the the trucker people don't trust anybody and the the tech bros are like well we don't want to stick around with these weirdo republican people and uh the craft lady and her husband it's like well he's all mauled up and i yeah they need to get get somewhere else go home yeah like so they they all have their own reasons for being like you know i'm just gonna get the hell out of here and then at this point, we get to the body count of the film, and it just yes. racks up quickly. It sure does. Somebody, somebody gave the craft lady the vigilante role, <laughs> and that was a bad idea. Yes, yeah, she's, <laughs> she's just she, blasting left and right. She keeps her tiny gun. She has a very little, like, purse gun, like, just a little, like, mm-hmm. um, two-bullet shooter kind of thing, and she goes to fucking town with that thing. Because um, she kills one of the tech bros. Yes, like, straight up, the gun, just yeah. murders him because with, she's with angry that they've got money. Container. Yeah, or maple syrup likes tap. Ugh. Yeah, they they're the maple syrup people. Uh, her and her husband mm-hmm. are they they make maple syrup stuff. They're like the local craft brewer, but for yeah. maple syrup. And so she finds him in the woods and then grabs a tap out of the tree and goes like, "That's where the sweet stuff is," and then jams it in his neck, <laughs> which is yeah, that's great, really that's good. Great. Yeah, it's a good little. I kill. want my craft store, fucker. Yeah, that's what she says. Yeah, because she's mad that she can't open her craft store because she doesn't have the money from the pipeline. I I love it. I yeah. love it. Uh, and then the gun nut guy opens up his trunk, which is a matrix trunk that has fucking crossbow and bolts and night vision goggles. Yeah, the pipeline he's, he's, dude. He's, yep. He's literally siphon filtering this. Yes. Yeah. He has this whole setup in the back of his <laughs> SUV that's like, oh, okay, sh- sure. And like all people that are like that, he has no idea how the fuck to use it because no, he's got he, night he vision a... goggles and a flashlight. <laughs> yeah, he's got a he's got a torch attached to his crossbow with his night vision goggles on. Yep. Which is amazing. No, that's not you. But then you can't see. What are you doing? <laughs> It's so good. It's so good. So so then uh our park ranger and our uh postal worker yeah uh end up escaping from the hotel after siphon filter gun nut pipeline guy comes in to try and get them. Yes. Uh and they run to uh, uh the reason why he tries to get them house, to right? yeah 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 the reason yeah. why he tries to get them to though is that there is a setup here in that they start looking around the hotel for clues in a way and yeah. they go into his room oh yeah and yeah they that's find important. they find out that there is a like map with all of the different uh attacks that have happened around yeah. the area because so the other thing is that our main character the reason that he's here the reason that he got the shitty assignment is that he mm-hmm. says that he was at a place called Grout Lake and he did illegal fishing, which, as a park ranger, is kind of shitty. <laughs> so yep. he got which caught. There were also murders there. He he got caught by his friends. Right? Yeah. yeah, he got caught with with his friends because they posted the social media, and then it became a thing. And then they see that there's actually a headline that says two people mauled at Grout Lake. Yeah. Dun dun dun. Yeah. Maybe he's so the it, werewolf. It's casting suspicion his way. Yeah, like, it's clever. And then clever. he finds with her also at the same time they do find that this guy that's going around with his crossbow and all of his hunting gear Mm -hmm. has a map of all these different maulings and stuff that have happened in this area and that he actually had a knife in the room and at first it's set up like the forester guy is going to stab Mm -hmm. the male lady because he pulls out the knife from the drawer and he like quietly points, and like, he points hey. it at her slowly and there's like this long moment and then she's like oh my god because she's looking at the oh two people mm-hmm. murdered at grout lake and she's like wait weren't you at grout lake and yeah why he's like <laughs> got the knife pointed at her and he goes what does that smell like and she's like 
Oh, Diesel. Oh, it's the generators. So, it's, yeah. Ah, Red Herring. He's not the murderer. He wasn't going to stab her. Yep, yep, yep. But, I love that. There's man, there's some real yeah, there's clever some stuff here. Little moments like that. So then uh, he yeah. comes in, finds them going well, through all that stuff, and starts tracking them down. What, they what's funny that about he's all this? After all the werewolves. If you think about roles, the park ranger is the investigator. Yes. Right. Yeah. So so some werewolf motherfucker is like planning evidence or something around to confuse everybody. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. During the conversation, like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, yeah. some of that might come up. That that kind of does yep. come up. But uh, yeah, so he, it's great. They he catches them there, and then they run over to Craft Lady's house because they're just trying to find yep. where everybody else is and check on them and be like, okay, well, this guy is and, losing his mind. We need to warn everybody. And, and they, they find Marcus, the stoner, inside her house stealing things with knives taped to his <laughs> fingers, like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> fucking rules and he's like i got dead. Like, he's like i'm a full they're just a part-time werewolf because they can only claw some of the time i'm a full-time werewolf i can claw all the time motherfucker my hands are knife my <laughs> hands are knives he's like so i'm gonna That's blame nice. the werewolf and steal everyone's shit <laughs> yeah i'm gonna steal their shit and then make claw marks and blame the werewolf let's go <laughs> which is so good it's such a great setup <laughs> It's so So in that, like, weirdo stoner character's vibe. It's great. So he threatens them and leaves, and as he's standing in the middle of the street, tell him, ha you fuckers, you'll never get me. His wife backs up the truck over him. Yes. Yeah. And then the craft lady lady comes out and blasts her in the head in the truck. Mm -hmm. Like, what the (laughs) fuck? This is in five seconds. Like, he walked yeah. into the street. Both of us looked at each other and we went, oh, he's about to get hit by a car. And then she backs yeah. up and she's like, Marcus, let's go. And then it's like, oh, but you just hit him. And then as she's yelling that, she gets shot in the fucking head. <laughs> it's just out of, it's so Mayhem. Quick. Total mayhem. It's so quick. I love it. Yeah. And so as the, since they're still in the house, the craft lady sees... Uh, the park ranger, the postal worker, and the one half of the gay couple that's not dead yet. Yes. Uh, and then they run into the house. She's threatening them all with a gun. Mm-hmm. And uh, the the other half of the couple's like, you killed my husband? And kills her. Yeah, hits her with a poker. Yep. With a poker, and her head falls into the fucking yeah, they, burning stove. They have the traditional joke of like, he yeah. hits her in the head and she spins around and they go, yeah. it's okay. She's she's probably fine. She's probably not dead. It's it's totally okay. And then she falls over and her head falls into the wood stove. And they're like, oh yeah. shit, we need to go. We need to go. We, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, uh, we should. I think yeah, I left I, the I love stove it. on. <laughs> yeah, because they're just like, we should leave. Yeah, that seems <laughs> like a time to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I love that reaction. Mm-hmm. So they go outside and they meet Siphon Filter Gun Nut Propane Man. Yep. Who's uh threatening them with a crossbow. Yes. And then at the same time the shitty thing with the the gay Yeah, he grabs they they're all they, none of them trust each he other anymore. Her. There there's yeah. like this whole thing back and forth where they're yeah. the park ranger guy's like listen we need to all trust each other it could be any one of us but it's probably nobody werewolves don't exist he's he's speaking sense which means he's probably a werewolf probably a werewolf (laughs) so the yeah then they start not believing each other the guy grabs a male lady and puts a gun to her head threatens her threatens her and then he gets shot in the chest with a crossbow bolt yeah uh which then we think that the propane guy is gonna kill the other two, mm-hmm. uh, but the crossbow bolt didn't take the other guy out, so he tells him, hey, fuck your pipeline, and he shoots the propane dick in the background, yeah. blowing him up. Yeah, he's like, your pipeline yes. shit, and the guy goes, oh, fuck, and then they blow up the propane dick. <laughs> the propane dick blew him up. This movie is, this movie does some fucking, things really well. God, <laughs> I fucking things. love that. Mm-hmm. I love that. So, then our, our two remaining characters that are still alive uh the park ranger and the postal worker yeah go back to the axe den the talk the things over and den her bar den. the axe her bar den. that she owns den 
Uh, and as they're talking about it and saying, oh, it's all over, uh, yeah, he wanders Yeah, obviously over. no werewolves. Werewolves don't exist. Yeah. So anyways, you're not he a wanders... werewolf, right? <laughs> right. So he wanders over to the mail room in the back of the the bar. Uh, well, uh, it, it was just like a, right? the second washroom. She she goes to just the, the washroom. Yeah. yeah, she goes to the washroom, and there's kind of like another washroom that's closed. That's like for storage, mm-hmm. and he sees that it's open just a crack and has like a box in it. And it turns out that it was uh, the box is missing parts that the mechanic lady thought somebody stole from her, mm-hmm. which was why she was distrustful of everyone, and also and that she in... needed it to like clear the road to leave. She could have cleared the road with a big yeah. truck, but she didn't have the parts to fix it. Yeah. Hmm. So there's that, and then we find the ID of a different postal worker. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. And it's oh my god, it's the postal worker, the lady yeah what are the odds and all these things yeah so it's yeah weird so then, she was the one yeah so they have a big conversation of like i just gotta kill people and this is enough food for like you know the rest of the the winter this is great it's wonderful it's great. for me and and she's yeah. like and do you really think that i was into you because like she's like do you think that like the girl that really likes kombucha and is gonna date you on the like she's gonna i'm gonna kiss you on, on the, the very fly? first like, night come on. like are you you dummy yeah. like i'm gonna take you into my bar and we're gonna like oh suddenly we're just gonna hit it off on the very first date you idiot so it's yeah i actually kind of like that because it, it throws that trope of like of course he just finds this woman who immediately he clicks with like the first day kind of thing it it does basically twist that around where it's like, oh yeah, no, um, I was using you, <laughs> like, yeah, and duh. he gets mad at her, like, wow, you've been making fun of me the whole time for being too nice. You could yeah. just be nice. You don't have to be a dick. Yeah, her whole you thing just was that want nice things. Come on, like he said, as it turns out, because of yeah. the fact that the whole time she's like, oh, like you're just so nice, and she's been telling him how nice he is and stuff. It's like, wait. Yeah you were making fun of me <laughs> it's like yes she was yeah. yeah it's like and it's like oh that's a really good revelation like her like mm-hmm. oh i love you because you're so nice was like holy shit you are such a rube like the whole time was actually the real yeah motivation it's a good twist that. yeah it, it is like it's a good it's a good moment mm-hmm. so then she we get a transformation scene yes she and transforms a into a werewolf yep uh and starts attacking him uh, and there's like axe throwing and a bunch of other shit, and it's great. They it's throw great. on they the more Savage Garden off of the Savage Garden, of course, <laughs> off of the jukebox. Why is it Savage Garden? The it... music choices in this movie are wild. It's like the jukebox moment from Shaun of the Dead, a but very with Savage much. Garden. Yes, yeah, that's exactly. It, what it's it dope. Is. And then as she gets the upper hand, and is about to kill him. She gets whacked in the back of the head with a shovel by the guy who's the shovel man from Home. <laughs> From home alone home alone too yeah it's our our emerson. trapper emerson yeah he comes back he's like you know what you said something about being a good neighbor and i never heard about that mr rogers guy but that made a lot of sense you know we live in a society cool style <laughs> like, yeah he totally yeah. is like oh man you the the park ranger guy gave him a we live in society speech but good style and it worked <laughs> right and it worked and the the werewolf attacks him because mm-hmm. she's not dead. No. Uh, and then continues attacking our park ranger who takes her out with a snowshoe that he's been blabbering to her about. Yeah. The whole movie about. Yeah, how I cool forgot that we didn't mention are. the snowshoe because every five yeah. minutes in this movie he's like, "Well, you know, snowshoes are like traditionally the best way to get across snow and ice. They've been around for they're one of the oldest methods of travel yeah. around. But snowshoes are really cool. You should probably try snowshoeing. People do snowshoeing all the time. I like snowshoeing. Yeah. <laughs> snowshoe, snowshoe, snowshoe. Like they keep hinting at it. They yeah. Keep hinting at it. So when we see a snowshoe on the wall at the end, we're like, oh, oh yeah. Immediately when both of us we saw it on the wall, yeah. we're like, oh, they're gonna do it they're gonna do the snowshoe they're doing the thing they're, they're doing, doing the, the thing, thing. Mm-hmm. i love it the payoff yes it's payoff. a good payoff for a good long-standing uh, joke throughout the movie so so then him and emerson are talking like well we dealt with the werewolf you want to go get a sandwich i bet janine's still alive <laughs> uh, and in the background this whole time while they're joking she's standing yeah. up and like slowly stalking towards them and then mm-hmm. janine mm-hmm. who ha- we haven't seen for a while either suddenly goes and shoots her with a crossbow bolt and she's like make your own fucking sandwich and that's the end of the movie <laughs> it's good it's so good so good it's very it's so good. good 
Uh. I think, like, I love 90% in this film, yes. and it's an Ubisoft movie. It's a fucking Ubisoft movie. Yeah, I really... Which makes... Yeah. Like what? you said, like, I really like 90% or so of this film. Mm -hmm. 5% of it is kind of like, eh, it's a little heavy-handed, there's some weirdness here. And then 5% is the like, just oh my wall. god, why is this so bad? <laughs> like, yeah. Because there's that yeah. couple of moments, like we talked about, that are just there that really it, sink this thing unfortunately it gives me some hope for the just dance film oh <laughs> i'm so low i'm so low. If, if the just dance film is anything like their e3 performances of it i how did they oh, make a man. good movie out of this like i don't know it, it was an accident it had to be also like i mean no yeah. not to I'm glad that Mishnah Wolf, yeah. the writer for this, um, mm -hmm. has done a good job of, like, she managed to do a good job writing this and everything, but, like, that it's, like, her first movie, basically, is... Yeah, it and, is. Like, or just writing credit at the, all? The, the only thing she'd done before was a memoir book of her own stories, I think. Sure. In, like, 2009. So this is her first, like film credit or, or anything even remotely resembling film right yeah that's wild to me that she's so like, wild yeah she seems like she's had an interesting career because she did character work yeah. on max Payne 2 uh, so she was like programming and stuff there mm -hmm. then she did like you said she did her own memoir that's apparently a staple in high school and college classrooms like it's sure yeah. like apparently quite well done and really well written and everything and then she did a movie like it's just what a strange career trajectory and i would like to mm -hmm. see more from her i hope that i'm hoping that like maybe some of the like writing that was bad here was probably maybe executive done do you know what i mean like with it, yeah with it being from ubisoft and all I that agree. i've got to imagine there was some amount of meddling in this and so i'm like maybe maybe she gets on and does her own project or something where she's got a little more freedom and it's not so awful about a couple of little things yeah. like that because I, yeah. I would hope i would hope eh. uh let's uh let's move on to rating the dogs but yeah i'm, I'm so just there's i just wanted to say I think, I, just that i'm so surprised about how like with with the cast and stuff that they have like that like this director is not exactly hmm. known for a lot of things either but it's really well done and that like this is a writer that doesn't know what that's like it's her first writing credit and it's pretty well written like i'm I'm hopeful for it's what well shot. we'll do in yeah. the future. Yeah, like it's well shot, it's well acted, it's pretty and, well written for barring a couple of And it's things. from a fucking college humor director and actor. Right? That right? is wild. That like is there's wild. so many things. That, this is a PS4 yeah. VR game about Werewolf, yeah. the game, that is written by somebody with no writing credits and directed by a college humor guy with almost no like huge directing stuff and it's pretty good <laughs> it's just it's such a how this is I, a unicorn so... movie is what this is yeah it is it is i just had to like uh, really nail that home yeah. how weird this fucking thing is yeah uh chachi yes cute little dog loves pets uh is super lovable left this film way too early <laughs> i you know of chachi i'll just yeah. say one thing and that's that uh, i love this dog i could just gobble her up you're saying that chachi is a snack out of ten i'm saying that chachi's a real snack yeah i love chachi okay. i would give chachi a 12 out of 10 Ch chachi is really really yeah. cute though like yeah, very yeah. Cute pup. and the the painting of chachi yeah. is fantastic uh and then the second dog is our werewolf mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is our postal worker cecily yeah uh Cecily, I uh, I thought the transformation scene was interesting. Yes, they did it. They did a, an actual good transformation, which is surprising. The makeup looks good. Uh, kind of a jerk. Just a little bit. Kind of a jerk. Doesn't believe yeah. in society. Yeah, she's her own woman. But 
But she made a damn good point about taking the hand of that fucking creep that keeps touching women. Oh, yeah. And she, she's like, well, he keeps on. Yeah. She's like, have you ever been led? She has a little good speech there where she goes, yeah. okay, listen, have you ever been led by a guy where they like put a hand on the small of your back and yeah. they try and move you around? And it's and she's like, I should have taken both that fucker's hands. And I'm like, yeah, you should have. Yeah, I'm like, yes. Yeah, huh. yeah. yeah exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. I, it's like that's what that's he was a tough like. one. That's exactly who he was. I I would rate her a nine out of ten. She's a good girl. Nine out of ten. I think She's that's that's fair. I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm yeah. nine sounds perfect for her because I'm down for yeah. ripping out the hands of the weirdo mm-hmm. creeper. Little less down for hurting Mister Rogers, man. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, that was Werewolves Within. The PS4 Somehow. VR game movie. Somehow. From Ubisoft we are Studios. It was a wild. fucking trip to see the Ubisoft logo at the yeah. start of this thing. Yeah. It's And it became a weirder and weirder trip the more that this movie was actually pretty decent. Yeah, I don't know. It feels like this movie should have Adam Driver in it somewhere. Yes, yeah. That's yeah. what's weird about it. That's yeah, what's weird about it. It kind of feels it. like it should have an Adam Driver. It this movie is it's very strange it feels 30 years out of time um some of the jokes are pretty dated mm-hmm. as we mentioned but also just yeah. that it fits in with like clue like it it really feels like i i have to think the writer really tried to nail like a clue mm-hmm. vibe to it like it's not really, that it was like, trying late to be a 80s, ripoff, early but... 90s whodunit for yes. sure and like yeah. the parody joke yeah. version of that right like like yeah. I said, like the who thing, and, and honestly, again, like knives out. It it has, it wears its influences on its sleeve, but all of those influences are good, and it's not like a rip off of them. It's just you know, yeah, it's it's a progression I, of those or like a, a version of them. I'm excited for when they finally do the Rayman movie, where they have a person with no arms or legs, I, like, yes. but the hands are still there and the feet. And they're just floating. They green screen them. I, I'm yeah. I want the green screen. Yeah. Uh, can we get the rabid slash minions crossover soon? Oh, they could do the Mario versus Rabbit. We could do movie. Mario versus Rabbit. We could have Chris Pratt Mario and Rabbit uh, and Rabbits. What a fucking treat! U- Ubisoft Studios is making a Rabbits movie. They're making a Rabbits movie. What the fuck are they doing? I don't. It's but not like now I maybe want to see it. It wasn't listed I, as an animated movie. Need, That's the thing. See it? It's not, wait, it's not listed as that. Okay, if it's a live it's action rabbit movie, animated. then I'm watching it for sure. <laughs> it's it's going to be like the live action, like, Albert and the Chipmunks, but with rabbits. And, oh, God. I, I don't know if I should watch more Ubisoft studio movies now or less. <laughs> because, like, the, because they're never going to get this good again, right? Like, they can't do it twice. So should I just, this is the jump the shark, get yeah. out? Well, anyways, I, uh, I'm i going to start working on my script for the Amogus movie. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. So I don't, can you help me out here? There's uh, a character that's talking to another character, and they're trying to say something to them okay. about them, like, Hold doing up. something. I, I, yeah, I have, I have some things that yeah. I want to hit you with. Um, okay. Sus. Shit, yeah, let me write there, that down. Yeah, that's a good please one. Write, write that. Yeah, okay. Um, I wrote it down ten times. Is that enough? I, well, I was gonna hit you with the second one, which is also oh shit, sus af. Oh shit! Wait, no, we need to copyright this. Yeah, stop yeah. listening. Okay, I'm just gonna turn the. I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs> Yay! 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 Look at him petting the doggy.